Girl on the Train is directed by Tate Taylor and stars Emily Blunt and is the adaptation of the extremely popular novel of the same name. Emily Blunt plays a very broken woman who is dealing with alcoholism, who rides a train every day and lives vicariously through the people that she views through the windows. She makes up stories about how she thinks they may live, and these fantasies she develops with these people in her head are what keep her going every day until she sees something that shocks her and leads her down a very dark path to a place where a whodunit mystery develops and we as the audience have to figure out what is truth and what is fiction as this character also tries to figure out the same thing. The marketing for this movie was really intense. It really beat you over the head with trying to make you think this movie was going to be incredible. A lot of people have compared it to Gone Girl because of similar themes. Every poster had the tagline, what did she see? In big bold letters, all the commercials said this. The thriller that shocked the world was what I kept hearing and so naturally I was excited for this movie because of course it was gonna shock me too, right? <laughs> In reality, this is an emotionally vapid, dull, Lifetime Channel original movie given the Hollywood treatment and an extremely overhyped marketing campaign to get everyone really interested in a film that's pretty much emotionally weightless. For the first few minutes of this movie, I was like, man, Emily Blunt is really delving deep into this role. This could be a really impressive film. I can't wait to see where this story goes. But as the movie progresses and progresses and continuously progresses and keeps progressing, I kept waiting for the movie to start. And I think maybe about an hour in it starts. Everything before that is just a train ride, pun intended, to a destination that you're waiting to eventually get to. And once you get there, it's okay, like you're like, all right, that's interesting. But then the movie divulges into extreme melodramatic territory where characters make decisions that are purely based on hopefully shocking you or maybe getting that extra dramatic punch in there when it really doesn't seem to work. There are really fine performances in this movie. Emily Blunt is a lot better than this movie deserves. Rebecca Ferguson, who was excellent in Rogue Nation, is also really good here. And Haley Bennett at times is very good. Luke Evans is also good in this film. Allison Janney shows up and is excellent as a detective who's trying to figure out what's going on. But for the most part, the performers in this movie are entirely reliant on whether or not the screenplay decides to give them good dialogue for this scene or Twilight fan fiction dialogue. The dialogue in this screenplay goes in so many different directions. It goes from being good to acceptable to awful in the flash of a few minutes. Look, my next criticism is going to contain mild spoilers, so I'm just going to warn you. This is my best way to describe this film, though. It starts out fairly okay, and you're like, this could be compelling. This could be an interesting narrative. And by the end of it, you realize it's just one of those movies where every character has had sex with each other, and they want to try to wring every little bit of drama out of it they can. This film has some good performances. It has a story that could have been interesting, but the execution, especially from Tate Taylor, does not fit this film. I found his direction to be very flat, filled with odd choices like using low frame rate photography, which really made it look very ugly sometimes, and I just did not feel that his direction really added much to this story. In fact, I think it detracted from it, and this is coming from the guy who made a movie, The Help, which I thought was good. I don't really know what happened with this film. This is a film that has good marketing and a good performance, and that's about it. I'm gonna give The Girl on the Train a C minus. This film missed just about every opportunity it had to be a great film. I don't know what happened. Sorry this review was a little bit late and that my new release reviews for this weekend have been late. My wife and I took a vacation to Tennessee at a cabin in the woods to film our upcoming fourth annual Halloween Scary Movie Night special. We're going to be talking about cabin in the woods horror films and we did a really fun skit that also proceeds throughout our video at a cabin in the woods. I can't wait to share that with you guys later in October. It's going to be a lot of fun. You guys are the best. Thank you so much as always for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.